Hello, it's uh, Sunny from iPhone Life Hacks here, um, and today we are going to look at the Health app. Um, it has changed considerably in the new iOS 10, and I just thought it'd be useful for you um, guys out there to just see what kind of changes have occurred. So let's get to, let's jump straight in. The first time you launch the app, uh, you'll obviously get an introduction screen and the opportunity to change information there, such as your medical ID. Um, we've been through all of that on this particular uh, phone and now here we are. This is the first thing you'll see every time you launch. Now what we can see first of all is that Apple have decided to make um, the information um, a little easier to get to. So, um, they found out, um, they've obviously worked out that we want to chunk our information together so we know exactly where everything is. So for example if we want to look at activity when we get into activity, we can see that information such as the active energy we've used, um, how far we've cycled, um, how many minutes we've put in, and uh, how many steps we've done, all that kind of thing, walking and running distances. It's all to do with activity and it's all grouped together in one place. Uh, if we go further down, we can see other activity that could have been recorded but actually hasn't been at this stage. Um, the activity is the information that is primarily generated by the Apple Watch, uh, as, I as I suspect is uh, swimming distance and swimming strokes, all, all coming from Apple Watch. Um, Nike Fuel obviously uh, now has a, Nike can have a relationship with Apple as we've seen with the launch of the Nike Apple Watches as well. So that's um, uh, activity and a brief view of what you can uh, record within that section. Uh, mindfulness, we can see this thing now called Mindful Minutes. I'm really not sure um, what the source of that um, information is. We can just tap on it and have a look. And we can, if we look at data sources, um, there are actually no data sources available at this point. Uh, and it says apps allowed to read data. So it's suggesting that there are going to be apps that are going to take this data and use it, presumably maybe yoga apps um, or apps that help you to breathe. Uh, let's go back to uh, the first screen and we'll have a quick look at nutrition. Now here we can see uh, information about um, what you're ingesting. Uh, so all the food is broken down into, um, I wouldn't call them primary substances, but obviously the, the, what your food is made of, the sugars, the fibres, ions, uh, the fats, the minerals and the vitamins. Uh, and then we can see also that this is unrecorded data, so either the information I've put in didn't contain this, um, or I've not uh, I've not been ingesting this. So it looks like I haven't had any vitamin B12 for a while. And then um, sleep. Okay, um, again, this is um, just one set of data about sleep analysis, and the data source. If we tap on the data source here we can see that this has come from the health app itself. In other words it's information that I have inputted myself uh, on waking um, and I use a different app and it automatically sends the information into the health app. So that's uh, an overview of the front screen. Uh, we can also see uh, other sections that have not been chunked together but you can get your body measurements for example uh, in here. So that's where your weight, your body fat percentage and BMI etc can sit. And so that's a very good overview of um, the, the data that you've got stored in there. Another thing that Apple have done is they've come out with a new feature called Today. And if we just tap on the Today section, we can see that today um, I haven't recorded any data, well certainly not on this phone. I've got a lot of data on my main phone, but there's nothing on here. If I take you back a year, uh, you'll be able to see very easily what we're talking about. Let's have a look at September the 1st. And we can see on September the 1st, this was a time when I was using this particular device to record data. And even though that was over a year ago, the data's been pulled, it's been preserved and it's been pulled through. Uh, and I think I had um, not the best day on steps there, 6,200, but certainly a few more steps than I would normally get in, I have, I have to admit, uh, shamedly. Um, and then we can just keep swiping through uh, the different days and we can see information coming in all the time. Um, heart rate wasn't bad there, was it at day 57? That's, I think, quite good. Maybe related to the fact that I did a lot of standing and I would probably uh, 
a little tired at the time that uh, the heart rate was taken. So you can gather all the data in on days, uh, on the today function, and in the health data section, because everything's chunked together, it's more colourful, it's that little bit easier on the eye. Um, I think Apple have done a good job in making their health app just that little bit more interesting, uh, making something you want to go to. Okay, so that's it. That's a quick overview of the health app in the new iOS 10. I uh, hope that was useful to you. Um, have a great day, and I will catch you on the next video.